Hello, in today's video, we're gonna go through my eight foot pole, how I use it, how I've got it set up, and why I like it. Keep watching. Okay, first of all, what I'll go for is the brush I use on all my poles. What I use is this, it's a 25 centimetre DuPont brush, rectangle brush, and these are absolutely brilliant. There's a rinse bar which is located inside the actual brush itself, and it's sat in a recess, so you won't scratch any window seals when using this. I have the brush connected onto the Gardener's Type 1 goosenecks. This is the short arm one, and I like the swivel goosenecks, as you've probably noticed. I use a quick lock system, so I can just undo the fittings for the hoses, and then all I've got to do is press down on this metal press stud. When I press that in, the brush will come off the actual gooseneck using this fitting. On the brush itself then, I've obviously got the Gardener fitting on there and swapped it over with the X-Line one. That way I can change the brushes around, whether it be the flocked or the DuPont one. Very easy to change around on the system. Fast and efficient, so it gets you through the day as quick as you can. I've got Exceed Innovations Univalve. It's absolutely brilliant piece of kit. Helps you save water through the day. Can make the difference between going home and filling up or not sometimes. Also what's attached to it is the tubeless system from Exceed Innovations. This is the pole kit. Uh, just look on their website and you'll see videos on how to attach that as well. Also have the hose kit as well for your uh, main hose so that I can basically use the pod to connect to the fitting on the pole hose, just like that. Very easy to use to connect and disconnect. So you can set up fast and pack away faster as well. Very easy to use to connect and disconnect. I find using the hoseless system really good at keeping my van nice and tidy. Uh, like I've already mentioned before, it speeds up your setting up and packing away time. When you're doing this about 20 times a day, you'll be surprised at how much it all adds up. The four foot pole is great in the way it can collapse to a two foot pole. But this starts up full foot and then fully extends all the way out to eight foot. So when you're not on really tight spaces, absolutely fine being at its smallest is in four foot. So what it does have over the four foot pole is when you need that extra longer reach that a four foot pole is just a little bit short on sometimes. And um, so it's great for when you're doing the sides of conservatories or where there's bits of cladding and a four foot pole you just can't reach, especially if there's any obstacles in the way. And then this is fine at getting those places and it just stops you having to get your bigger poles out. It's not an absolute must, but it is useful to have in your van. What I do find is when my kids are working with me, because they're a bit shorter than me, the four foot pole sometimes saves them having to use the longer poles that I have. And sometimes you'll have a window here in front of you where the four foot pole, because of any obstacles that are in front of you and the window in the way. So you just extend this longer reach than what you're going to get off your four foot pole and away you go cleaning the windows absolutely no problems at all where you'd struggle with the four foot pole obviously you can use your bigger poles for this but if you want a lightweight setup then an eight foot pole is very handy to have at times now when i first got the eight foot pole i didn't have water fed pole in mind what you can do is take this off remove the gooseneck and all the gubbins inside and then you can stick one of these end cones inside what you've got yourself now is a good decent sized trad pole so if you've got any traditional equipment i can now stick it on the end and i've got an eight foot trad cleaning pole something else you can use the uh, eight foot pole for is when you've got your end cones on stick in a pro gutter put it on the end like so and what you've got yourself now is a pole that you can use up to eight foot for clearing out the gutters by hand, especially when you need to use a pole to get to the gutters that are over the top of extensions. So in summary then, you don't probably really need an eight foot pole, especially if you've got your 18 or 25 foot poles. The four foot pole is definitely, I'd say a must as a recommendation, but this is quite handy and I do like having it in the van for the odd time. I find it really useful. It can make a good trad pole. It's good for them tight spaces. Sometimes you're clearing out gutters and you having to do it by hand. My daughter uses this quite a lot and my younger kids when they come out and help me use it quite often as another spare pole for them to use. It's probably still good to get one for them anyway because they can clean the windows at home for you while you're out working. Catch you on the next video.